हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज डॉक्टर जय मेहता हियर एंड वेलकम टू दिस मास्टर क्लास ऑन अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड डिसेक्शन ऑफ पेल्विक स्पेसेस रिमेंबर आउट ऑफ ऑल पेल्विक स्पेसेस द टू स्पेसेस व्हिच मैटर टू अस द मोस्ट आर द पैरावसाइकल स्पेस एंड द पैरारेक्टल स्पेस इट्स इंपॉर्टेंट टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट ऑल दीज पेल्विक स्पेसेस आर एक्चुअली द पार्ट ऑफ द एंडोपेल्विक फेशिया ऑफ द रेट्रोपेरिटोनियम so practically if you want to peel the peritoneum of the pelvis apart you will never be able to identify the difference in the landmarks through these spaces the reason why we have divided these spaces is for our convenience so that we are able to understand what is the paravasical space and what is the pararectal space in the video which precedes the actual surgical demonstration you will realize the paravasical the pararectal the retrorectal space all these space can simply be merged with one another it is also important to understand that the lateral margin of all these spaces are going to be either the levator muscle or the arcus tendinosus or the obturator muscles or the great vessels because these vessels form part of the lateral most aspect of the pelvic wall the two things that we predominantly want to focus upon in the pelvic spaces is the ureter and the vascular parametrium when i talk of the vascular parametrium it predominantly means the uterine artery through its origin the superficial uterine vein which we also call as the uterine vein i am specifically not mentioning the deep uterine vein because deep uterine vein also forms a part of the neurogenic parametrium otherwise understanding of this spaces is very easy the space which is present adjacent to the bladder is called as the paravasical space the space which is present adjacent to the bowel or to the rectum is called as the pararectal space the pararectal space can be divided into multiple compartments based on what we are looking at and what is the functionality that we want to achieve as the ureter passes through it dissection of these spaces is very important in surgeries related to gynec cancer and in cases of severe endometriosis as well as in all other surgeries where we want to reach till the origin of the uterine artery and as a result of this the correct technique of dissection maintaining safety of the ureter is very important when we are performing surgery in opening and dissecting any of these spaces the video which precedes this entire presentation is going to be a live video from a patient where we have dissected open the pelvic spaces especially the pararectal space and the paravasical space and i believe it will be a good learning experience so here we go This is a video where we are going to demonstrate this entire procedure and as in all my procedures we begin with mobilization of the sigmoid. Now see this is important because these congenital adhesions of the sigmoid no they will keep on coming and causing that bowel to come inside the pelvis and hinder your view. So the first and foremost sigmoid and its adhesions have to be taken out of the pelvis as we are taking them out right now. after that occurs we will begin the dissection of the pelvic spaces which we already discussed in the earlier half of the video in such situations i like to mobilize the sigmoid for approximately 5 cm and here we begin the dissection of the pelvic space identify the infundibulo pelvic ligament tent the peritoneum up the first structure which you are going to identify by doing this entire maneuver is going to be the ureter always begin dissection of the pelvic spaces with ureter in your mind see the minute the ureter goes lateral the space which opens up medial to that is the pararectal space now the pararectal space is this entire compartment both medial to the ureter as well as lateral to the ureter remember in the pararectal space the only structure that crosses from lateral to medial is going to be the structure belonging to the vascular parametrium which is the uterine artery and the uterine vein 
here we are demonstrating the dissection and opening of the pararectal space which is medial to the ureter now this has multiple names you can call this part of the pararectal space especially the space which opens up close to the uterosacral as latsko space and okabayashi space but remember for our practical purposes and routine surgery instead of getting confused with which space is which remember everything as pararectal space as you can now notice the structure which divides the pararectal space into two parts is going to be the ureter and that is something which all of you should take note of we further dissect dissect and dissect the ureter so that the spaces can be identified slightly better remember all of these are avascular spaces as you notice absolutely avascular now further to this one must be able to realize that doing this dissection doesn't really need any type of fancy instruments you can do this entire surgery with the most basic form of instruments you can also observe that we have not put any uterine manipulator so we are doing this entire surgery without a uterine manipulator just traction on the uterus is enough traction in the right plane is enough see currently the plane of dissection is basically medial to the ureter we are opening up the space which merges with the lateral rectal spaces and the anterior rectal space which we also called as the denon villers fascia that is the anterior rectal space you can see the rectum as soon as traction is given onto the rectum pararectal space opens up further it further allows mobilization of the ureter in lateral direction thereby ensuring extreme safety of the ureter especially in cases of adhesions which is typical in cases of severe endometriosis and if we open in this plane underneath this the first plane which we identify is going to be the retrorectal plane so now you can see and visualize that all these planes actually merge with one another if we keep on dissecting into the lateral pararectal space that means the space which is now lateral to the ureter you will begin to identify the internal iliac artery that's the anterior division of the internal iliac artery and remember that is the first structure which you are going to identify so that is practically the importance of this space you can also realize that this is basically an absolutely avascular space just have a look at that we are not using any form of energy source in ob order to open up that entire space it's just traction counter traction and gentle dissection you will also realize that this entire dissection is being performed live and as a result of this it is not a very time consuming dissection see here we have gone ahead of the uterine artery and the space which has opened up there is the paravesical space so the commonest question is how can you open up the paravesical space from the pararectal space ideally the paravesical space should be opened near the round ligament well that is not true as we spoke all these spaces merge into one another you can see the uterine artery at its origin so that is the origin of the vascular parametrium and as i stated these spaces simply merge into each other see that that's the paravesical space which is being dissected till the levator ani muscle down there which ensures medial mobilization of the bladder thereby ensuring that the bladder is completely safe it's very very easy to identify as long as the dissection is done see the entire structure which was closed have now opened up into separate 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 spaces which we technically use different names for our easy identification we will now try and merge the paravesical space from its anterior approach as well you can see we are going in front of the round ligament dissecting open the broad ligament as soon as the broad ligament gets dissected open there you can see the paravesical space is opened and this paravesical space merges with the pararectal space you can see the uterine vessels transversing this entire space the paravesical the pararectal and the parametrium that's the vascular parametrium all of them visible in one 
standard plane along with the ureter which is visible separating the pararectal space into two separate halves